Hello everyone! Well, apparently episode 1 decided to blow up quicker than my freaking Twitch has been doing. Well, actually, even more than that. This is episode 2 of Elden Ring, The Convergence, The Alpha Test. And uh, anyways, folks, um, we're spicing this up a little bit because somebody in the comments told me to run a different thing and they would uh, give me a subscription to my channel. Well, I'm going to do so, so I better be seeing a subscription, goddammit. Anyways... We are going to start up a new game. We are going to go type A. And. Yep. And uh, we'll do that. And then we'll go type A young. And the origin of this person is going to be a star caller. Now, I was a little weary about this. I did test it out a little earlier. However, it is gravity magic. So we're talking rocks and numerous other things and also it's a melee and magic which uses physical damage so um we're gonna give this a shot and also now um from the last episode i now know that uh some of these like the remnants here are actually some things that i need to keep my eye my eye on especially the combat the heirloom and the enchanted remnant now the combat runes are your basic uh are your basic stuff like uh boost your stats and everything you're gonna get these eventually and once you do you'll be able to figure out and everything because you get all four talisman pieces when you four talisman slots when you start the game so in other words you can deck out your character very very quickly the only thing i didn't like about this character is that well I needed to make sure that I get a better weapon than the one I have now. But, anyways, we are going to go with an... We did, we did an Enchanted Remnant last time. It was... Eh. Uh, we have an Heirloom Remnant. And we have a Combat Remnant. So, the Combats are basic stats. The Enchanted ones are like, say, the Green Turtle Talisman and numerous other things. I'm going to go Heirloom on this one. And anyways, uh, let's get this going because um, I also found out that almost every single one of these origins starts in a new area in the game. Well, maybe not a new area, but a new location than the one you usually start out at. So let's get this going, shall we? All right. And we'll let this load up. You've all seen the cutscene, so I'm not gonna I'm not going to bother uh popping it off in here. Alright, so we have our Star Caller. We have a ability called Gravity Well, Shatter Earth, and Rock Burst. Okay. So we'll go grab our normal stuff. We will uh pillage the remains here. We get our wizened finger, we get our whetstone knife, we get our flaffle under psychic, and we get our crafting kit. So the basic stuff of what we usually get here as is. Now, let's run our equipment real quick. Okay, so we got a gravity short sword. So what does this, what does this do? Um, lightweight, easy to wield, requires only humble attributes. Okay, so it doesn't really give us a whole lot except for kick. The other one is, um, let's see here, staff of a miner who extracted glintstone from tunnels. Uh, lesser gravity affinity. Physical is optimal. Um, okay, so it's physical, magic, fire, lightning, and holy. So it's weak for holy magics. It's optimal for physical attacks. And moderate for magic. So, and good for fire. So I can use numerous amounts of fire items, but the physical stuff would probably be the better idea. Now, let's take a look at this stuff. Um, hooded of a self-proclaimed star caller. Increases strength and int by one and reduces FP cost of sorceries by 1%. Ooh. Interesting. And int and strength by two. So in other words, this, uh, so this setup is, uh, strength and int and reduces FP sorcery cost. So in other words, mind is not going to be needed for this pretty much, so... All right, so we've got our basic uh, Flask of Crystal Flask of Cerulean. So we're going to test this out. Um, and so with that, let's see where we end up.
Okay, so we are... Hmm. We are in the Weeping Peninsula. Interesting. Let's open this one up. Path of the Star Color and the Faint Rune of Gravity. Okay. And what is in this one? I got baited. That sucks. All right. So um, we now have all of his stuff. So we're going to hit our inventory. Okay. So we have spells, but uh, this is the faint rune of gravity. So we will use this. So apparently this is our, our basic uh, abilities on that. So that's fine. All right. So <clears throat> we will touch the grace here. Apparently, I see where we kind of are right now. So, um, let's do our remnants crafting and see what we've got. Ooh, yes. Okay. <coughs> Usable while crafting, remnant crafting at any grace. So, we got our star scourge. We got our prothesis wearing. We have our intelligence. We have our stargazer. We have our faith. We have our cane. We have strength and int. The strategist tire heirloom all right so that sounds like a darn good one and then we can get the ones later so we will use that and then we will go okay so we are at level nine right now we got a 14 strength a 14 int okay that works and memorize spells so we have all of our stuff gravity ball pose force pulls foes toward the caster thrust death in the ground emit a shockwave and a rock burst. Reach upward and repeatedly strike foes to shark rocks from below. Okay. So, um, yeah. All right. So what we will do now is we will equip that Strategist Terraloom, which will bring our strength in into 22. And then we're going to get going here. Um, Let's see here. We're going to use the rock burst. We're going to give this, uh, we're going to give this a nice little test on this little bastard right here. Ooh, that's a spicy one. That's double. Hey, buddy. Thoink. Oh, that missed. Well, let me fix this again. Bam. All right. I am weary about that freaking bubble in the center. Well, let's uh, let, let's go back here. Okay, so in other words, I just got an red leaf flower. We're going to back up just a hair. That's a row of fruit. All right, so um, what we're going to do now is we're going to quaff our flask. Hmm. All right, so let's, uh, let's go poke it. Let's just go start poking these things. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm liking this rock burst. It's helping out a bit. So let's uh, let's roll around the edge here. See if we can get this last. See if we can get this last one in the area before we see what the hell that 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 pulsing thing is in the center. Okay, so let's, uh, okay, let's see what this thing is. Oh, it's one of you. All right. Wait a minute, why can I not use my sword?
uh, something's not right here. Uh, my right bumper is not registering any normal attacks. Why? Uh, apparently my right bumper is not working. Okay. Um. I'm going to have to fix that little problem. Come here, buddy. All right. Um, and there's that. Um, I got to check something. Something's not right here. Um, give me a moment here, folks. Um, I gotta check something here. Yeah, that seems to be working. The RB working. Yeah, that's working. That's working. Why is that not letting me? That's an even better question. Um, let me try something. Oh, now it's working. What the hell? That was weird. Well, that one, that group's all dead. So, um, let's go set up our uh our spectral seed and uh since we are now since the area is clear let's go check uh what some of these things have oh gravity stone fan okay big guy didn't have anything all right so where are we exactly oh we're down over by castle morn all right so uh we got a couple of things we can do here oh one more thing i'm gonna do so i'm gonna check the inventory because we're gonna see where those new sets are all right examine using x all right so okay so the general radon set sold by any after the general radon and the red Nate, the red main knight set is found in Fort Gale. Okay. Uh, Shimmering Rune is an Earth Bore Cave. The uh, Glowing Rune of Gravity is at Royal Grape Erigale. Um, Shining Rune of Gravity is at the War Dead Catacombs. That's going to be later. Way later. Um, and the Radiant Rune of Gravity is at Yolo Anix Tunnel. Okay. So, our first notable armor set for Starcaller is right with General Radon after you beat him. But that's going to be a little ways down the road. But, uh. We're going to see what we can do here. So, um. What we're going to do now is I think we're going to go, uh. Head down to that. The, uh. One certain, um the uh one uh grace down here before castle morn and then we're gonna go uh lurk around here a little bit because i can go up to here and uh grab a couple of things from there so um we're gonna go we're gonna go summon our uh summon our horse and head south oh and we do have this okay buddy Right, that's it. That's it. Move, 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 move. Eat rock. And now you, buddy. Huh. That was a that was a nightmare and a half. All right, here it says um, we're gonna examine this. So oh, seek the three wise beasts. Okay, well there's one. Uh, 
There is one. Let's see if I can find the other ones. All right, let's, uh, I know where one of them is, but, uh, there's two. And there's one more someplace here. He, he, he hiding. I know darn well he is because I was looking for, looking for him before. Ooh, Arteria Leaf, leaf. Nice. Just got to find him. I found the one out front. I found the one in the water. There is one more here someplace. Apparently, I need to upgrade this weapon. I need to upgrade this weapon just a little bit. Okay, let's take a look here and see if we can find this last... Uh, this last turtle. I know it's here somewhere. It's just taking me a few moments to figure it out. Oh, and let's get off here and... One down. Now... Ah! I knew he was around here, I just couldn't remember where. <laughs> Alright, so now we go up here. And uh, we will climb a ladder. Up we go. Now. I think this is a memory stone. Which will help out a lot, because I'm going to be uh, getting some more, uh, some more stuff. Yep, there's a memory stone. All right. So, at the moment, we are now out of here. At least we figured that one out. I know there's a catacomb nearby, but I don't feel like, uh, dealing with that right now. Especially with the low po way I am, uh, low power at the moment. <coughs> All right, so... We are going to head this way. And then this will lead us back towards the first merchant. And also another grace. So we'll... Get that grace touched. Guides of grace, yep. And then we will uh, go talk to this boy. Um, let's see what you got. Um, close. All right, so faster sword, 1610. I can use that. Uh, spike club. Note on demi humans don't need it. Um, scale armor. Increases strength and vig by one, and stamina cost by by a certain percentage. And that is a uh, this episode usually wielded with two hands, but those enough strength and one is sufficient. Okay, so uh, that's fine. Um, we do have um some some of those. We will grab those. Be well. Um, uh, I'll try to. 
And watch me not have enough runes to at least get one level up. Nope, I have enough for a level up. All right, so um, this goes... All right, so we're going to go 15. Um, that goes 170. 70, that goes 172, and that goes 171. So we will go... We'll go up to 15 minutes. And okay. So at this point, we are now heading... We're going to head towards the Church of Marika down here before we start heading back up into the normal areas where, we, where we're supposed to be going. Okay, so uh, I'm pretty sure there is another... Uh... Nope, 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 nope. We need that rune. Thank you. May not be much, but they're still useful. And Lost Grace discovered. Awesome. And we'll rest here for a moment so we just let everything reset. Okay. So now, we need to try and follow the road. That is due west of us. So we are off. Yeah, no, I'm not dealing with you guys today. Good day. Yeah, okay. Okay. Apparently, I am... Oh, I'm going in the wrong damn, damn direction. I need to go this way. And we need to find our way up. And there's a way up. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Oh! <laughs> and the church is up here. Okay. So. We are not going to deal with those guys. Actually, you know what? These guys are the ch these guys are chump chains. Let's go. There we go. Chum chains dealt with. There's some herba. All right. And we're going to go here. All right. Everything's going well right now. And we are now going to head inside of this church. And uh, uh, first thing we're going to do is we're going to grab this thing right Yeah, uh, Yep. We're going to head that thing right here. Well, okay. So apparently that was a golden centipede. Oh. I haven't even picked that up yet. Sacred Tear. Thank you. And now we rest. And then we now go, we add increase map. Yep. And then we don't think we have any others. We do not. Okay. And we don't have any golden seeds either. Okay. So. We're all good. Um, flasks, uh, we're going to increase... No, we're going to allocate here. So I have um, three and one. You know what? That'll work. Okay. So, at this point, let's get on Torrent, and we are going to head down this way. We're going to head down this way because there are a couple of places I can go and uh, start grabbing some interesting stuff. There's a rune fragment, another rune fragment. Down we go. These rune fragments will actually be useful sooner or later. And then we have a uh, place over here, which we are probably not going to be going into because this place is a goddamn nightmare. All right, that's a sanctuary stone. There's another place. Oh, yeah, that's where the mausoleum is. Okay. Rune fragment. All right, you know what? Let's go over here. I have a feeling there is a chest down here someplace, but I got to find it. Oh, there it is right over there. 
There you go. And uh, we're going to get ready because we got these guys. Okay. Roll. We have another. And you're dead. Thank you. <laughs> All right. We don't have a... Uh, we definitely do not have a uh, a lantern yet, which is one of the things we're going to have to worry about here. All right. What do we got? The winged scythe. Um, Let's check. Nope. We need faith at 24 and a dex of 16. We ain't even close. So, hang on. What are you? You're in here too? I need a better weapon. Anyways, um, we're going to get out of here. We are, we are going to get out of here. Um, I'm pretty sure that if I look around, there is, I'm going to check the map here. Yeah, if I go, if I go this way, there is an ever jail nearby. The question is, is that where, oh, actually... Where is the ever jail? Oh, it's over here. We can find out which one this is, and then we can start heading back. This one is <clears throat> the weeping ever jail, which uh, we do not need. So uh, that's fine. We will uh, creep in on the back side here. This is the fourth church of Marika. And this should be, yeah, another sacred tier. All right. Um, flasks. Uh, increase amount replenished. Boom. Okay. So, uh, at this point, we are now going to start heading back this way. And actually, what's even better is, is I'm going to actually head back over to Castle Morn Ramparts, and uh, we're just going to head back north. All right, buddy. I could go up that way, but I'm not going to. I know there's stuff there that I can go and I can go find, figure out later. But for now. All right, mighty shot. All right, well, that's fine. And now we're gonna grab everything here that we can. Hi, hi, hi. We're gonna grab that and run. And we're gonna run because we aren't dealing with that bullshit. We'll talk to you in a moment. I gotta get the freaking, uh, I gotta get the save point. I gotta get the grace, which is over here. Boing! And that will give us the quest to go back over to Castle Morn and deliver the letter to her father. And now that resets everything, so this should be, this should be a lot easier. Grow a fruit, and then we're gonna grab more fruit, and then we're gonna talk to you. Hello? Is somebody there? Might I bend your ear for a moment? My name is Arena. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have rebelled. I... I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out the castle but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander. Hmm. Interesting. I... I fear for father's life. 
The serpents are full of wrath, filled with hatred for every one of us. They've since come for every one of the companions I escaped with. They haven't spared a soul. I fear it's no different at Castle Morn. Please, I implore you. Would you mind taking a letter to my father at the castle? My soul wishes that he escape, even if his honor should be the price. Please, I just want him to be safe. Sure, I'll do that when I go over there later. Thank you, <laughs> dear me. Then please, take this. Okay, we got Irina's letter. Deliver it to my father. All right, deliver, deliver that to your father at the castle. No problem. And now, thank God I'm on the back end of this, because now I can deal with this, this, this bastardized thing and say hello to everyone here, including you. And destroy the ballista. Okay, buddies. All right. All right. You know what? Wrong button, Puma. Oh, God. Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up, drink. Have fun. That's for you, bastard. There. Jeez. <laughs> oh, yeah, I might even give you a chance. Bye. <laughs> All right, what's this? Oh, great smithing stone. Oh, hey. Something I wasn't expecting. All right. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, you bastard. Here, rock. I want to catch this one unawares. Bam. Boom. Bam. Yeah, buddy, that was me. All right, well, fine. You're gonna be that way? That's fine. Sit down. All right. So, uh, we've gotten this area done. Okay. And forward we go. There's a lot of freaking gravestones there. Let's go over this way. All right. And what area is this? The Forlorn Hound. Okay, this is for later. We gonna we're gonna roll down the uh, passage through here. Okay, we're gonna head on up this way. Well, you know what? I'm not going to say no to some, uh, to some free loots. Especially when I might be using that, uh, I might be using a lot of that later. Okay, I know where this is. I am not going here yet. But it is good. I will, I will hit this. I will... Okay, so that's a guy. Uh, that's golden effigy. I'm not gonna worry about that.
And for now, we are heading up to... We're going to head up to the big camp, the first camp. Okay, I'm out of here. Nope, nope. Get out of here. Get out of here. Drink. Oi. You. Yeah, I, I'm not dealing with you. I've got other things I can deal with right now. Um, We are going to go quip, and we're going to go touch grace. And we're going to rest. And then we're going to get up. Now, there's there's a few couple of things here, but I'm not going to be grabbing them just yet because I've got other things I need to grab first. Uh, namely, that grace up there and also the, uh, the golden seed that's on the top of the hill. All right, and there's that, and now we go this way. And we head up to Stormgate. I don't care, you can blow that horn all you want. I'm out of here already. There is Stormhill, okay. I'm going this way to avoid the uh, freaking uh, the freaking ambush, and I think there's an Ember Jail over here as well. Or I think there is, because there's a lot of those snakes around here. All right. Let's go grab all this shit. Let's go grab all this shit. Come on, grab that, grab that, grab that. Let's go grab all this shit. Let's go grab all this shit. <laughs> Ow! Bastard. And last one is up here, and we grab that. We go up here. We... Come on. Come on. Pick up item. Thank you. And then we go uh, this way, I think. Um, we're let's see where we're heading. Yes, we are going in the right direction. Good. This will lead us over to this the shack with the runes of war, I think. Or it will read us into something of that nature. Oh, we went way... We went way off. Okay. We're way off. We're way the hell off. Alright, we're way the hell off on this point. A large smithing stone. Hey, I'll take that gladly. I have a feeling, yep, this is one of them. We jump off. We will hit this. And now we will rest here. Okay, we have enough. We will go... Okay, that goes up one, and that only goes up that. Okay, so we'll go here. We'll add one more intelligence to this stuff. And then we're going to go climb up here, climb up here, climb up here, grab this, which is a buckler, which we won't be doing a whole lot of parrying. And now we will talk. Been grafted, everyone who came with me. They crossed the sea for me, they fought. 
for me. <sighs> Only to have their arms taken. Their legs taken, even their heads taken. Taken and stuck to the spider. Did you know, if you're grafted by the spider, you become a chrysalid? It's quite a lark when you think about it. <laughs> You're all on your own, are you? And heading to Stormvale Castle. Enticed by the one in the white mask, I suppose. So, you've come to be one with the spider? Well, that makes us two peas in a pod. But I don't have your courage. It's scary, you know, having your arms cut off. Or legs. Or your head. I want to be like everyone else, but I'm just too scared. There is something Do fucked up about craven? all this. I wouldn't consider you a craven, miss. Oh, I know. Can you take this little one along with you? And there's the spirit jellyfish asses. And we do not have a viable means of summoning stuff yet. The poor thing deserves someone braver than myself. Um, the spirits look rather fondly upon you. It'll be glad of your company, I think, the little one. Do you trust this person to be a nice and kind person with a person with a with a hood covering his face? I don't know. Pleasure to see you. Oh, can you pass on a message for me? If you see the little chrysalids in Stormvale Castle, tell them I love them. And that, despite my craven heart, I'm sure I'll be joining their club soon enough. I'm finally getting the hang of this whole pain thing, you know? Eh. Well, anyways. We got that done. And now we're going to head back. Well, actually, before I do anything that, we're going to rest here. And we're going to move things to morning because I don't feel like dealing with any of the nighttime shit yet. All right. And now we head due east. Following the somewhat road. I think I missed the shack over here. Okay, hang on here. Nope, the shack is nearby. Ah, there it is. Found it. He's there, so that's good. At least I won't have a ball bearing knight on my going against my face, so that's good. And let's go talk to him. Not seen you before. Name's Bernal. Tarnished, just like you. Let me ask you something. Are you here in the lands between to take up the fight? Does your faith in the guidance of grace hold firm, despite the collapse of the Golden Order? My faith holds firm. Yes, you're a takes me back. But that's a quality needed now more than ever. Any interest in bearing the torch of my battle arts? All I know is the sword. Picked up a fair few tricks in my time, too. Now's the time to pass them on. To a good and proper tarnished like you. Um, sure. Let's see what you got. Um, upward cut, kick, endure. Skills to an armament, a war cry, impaling thrust, parry, or vacuum slice, uh, colossal axes, except, ex, ex, accepted, yeah, okay. Uh, colossal opens to twin blades, accepted for storm blade, a square off, um, quick step, okay. Not floating your boat, eh? Well. Eh, I'll be back later for that stuff. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to head back over to the Gatefront Ruins because we're going to head back over towards the beginning area so we can talk to Kale and possibly get our, uh, and possibly get our, uh, get our summons bell. Even though I think we might have to wait on that.
And also, we're going to go into the first cave because I'm pretty sure I get some spells there, which probably wouldn't be a bad idea. All right. Rolling along here. We're not worrying about the Tree Sentinel. He is probably way too powerful to deal with right now. And we're in the Church of Eleth. And we're going to hit the Lost Grace Discovered. There we go. And yep, we now know the fast travel of the Sites of Grace. Yep, we know that. And we're going to go here. Uh, strengthening Armaments. Yep, pick up item, which is a Smithing Stone. And now we'll use the Smithing Table. Okay, so uh, we now have... Um, hmm. Oh, okay. So uh, let's... Uh... Alright, you know what I'm going to do here? I am going to uh, grab... I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna use this room five. Okay, sixteen hundred rooms. That ought to be good. Um, I'm going to. Okay, we got five. So we're gonna upgrade the gravity short sword. We're gonna upgrade the digger staff. And apparently we only got enough to do one more. And I'm just gonna do the gravity sword. And Kale, buddy. Hey. Tarnished. I can see it. And I can also see that you're not after my throat. No, the thought never crossed my mind. A little something. I am Kale. Or Kale. I call him Kale, words. but... Oh, well, let's see what you got. Well, that's the first thing I'm grabbing is the Lantern. Um, Weathered Straight Sword, a Falchion. We got a Chain Coif. Uh, that is Strength and Dex and Stamina Cost. Okay. All right, so oh, you actually have you actually have smithing stone. Well, nice to do. Well, I might actually. Uh, okay, so we now have enough to upgrade that one, but we need to pop. I think we're gonna just pop one. Yeah, that'll work. Use the smithing table, strengthen the armaments, and we will equip. The, we will upgrade the digger staff level two. So we need a lot more smithing stones. So, uh, I'll get back to you later, Kale. But, uh, also I need to go and, uh, add my lantern to that. There we go. And now we're going to go to the evening for obvious reasons. As we're going to go past time until nightfall. And then you should hear a familiar voice here in a moment. Or maybe it's after I do that mission. So, let's go to that cave. We'll go kill off some wolves. Oh, hey, look at that. Two shot. I like that. Upgrading those weapons and everything are probably your best bet if you're planning on using this uh, stuff. Uh, your digger staff, well, that's just that's just added uh, damage to your to your items. So uh, we're gonna go see how this rock burst does. Still three, okay. Still three to kill something. All right, that's fine. There's another mushroom, and inside to the first cave we go. And yes, there is no boss here. Because this is actually one of the starting points. So, we will rest here for a moment. And we're going to see if we can level up. Oh, yes, we can. Alright, so... That goes... Um, right armament 2 and 3. Um, that goes up here, and that gives us more damage. So, we will take that. And then, we will now... Quap up our, uh... Our very... Our very, uh needed light, especially for some of these areas. And now we're gonna we're gonna hit that thing and now we're gonna go Hi And that's what you get. 
beast lore pot. Nice. Some bones. Yeah. Um, cave moss. Whoa! Hi, buddy. Quaff, quaff potion. We're gonna go grab all these silver fireflies. Yup. And I'm pretty sure there is one more here. Boop! Hey, those actually kill the wolves very, very effectively. That's good. And now we go down here. And uh, I'm pretty sure there is... No, there's no more enemies here. This is where a boss usually is. But we will go grab this. Which is the Beast Repellent Torch, which will be useful for later. Um, number two is the Claw Mark Seal. And this is uh, Bestial Devout and the Fane Rune of Beasts. Okay. So that, I think, gives us some more spells we can use. Well, if we have the ability to do so. Beast Claw, Gravel Sling, and Stone Throw. So, let's, uh, let's see about these spells, shall we? Ah, uh, they require faith, and we have only six faith. So, yeah, that's not going to help us out a bit. All right, so we now have everything that we need out of this place, so we can just chug back out the other way. Now, for anybody here, it's like, yeah, I know I'm not running a whole lot of mind on this thing, but since almost everything here costs so much less FP every single time I use, when I use them, it's not going to be uh, one of those things that I'm going to be uh, useful for in at least a small little... Uh... Okay, we are, we're back. Um, <laughs> apparently the phone wanted to call at this point. Um, okay, so we've got nothing there. All right, so we're getting out of here. We're going to go get out here, and we're going to uh, go summon our horse and head back towards uh, towards the cathedral. Hey, turtle. Because I think uh, at this point, since we've gone through a little bit more of the nighttime and gone through that cave... We're going to talk to Kale again. Um, let's see what you got. Um, actually, nope, we don't have anything you need. Yeah, no problem. So, we don't have a spirit calling bell. Um, hmm. Okay, so, um, I think at this point, I am going to, uh, yeah, let's see. We got a few places here. We've got a couple of catacombs in these areas. Uh, that's the Forlorn Hound Ever Jail. We got another Ever Jail up there. Uh, we got a few around here. And we also got to go over the third church, of, uh, the Marika Church here. And then we got to head to over to that one there. So, um, anyways, folks, we'll do that next time. Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you like what you see, hit hit subscribe tap bell for notification leave thumbs up leave comments below i'm gonna drop these down to a little bit because i have been having issues of having um having way too long episodes so uh hopefully these will be a little more bite-sized chunks for you so anyways folks i will talk to you next time bye